The town of al Baghdadi falling into the hands of ISIS as the Iraqi army evaporates. Jesus told us that all of us would be hated for his name's sake. And even though he said those words 2,000 years ago, they're still true today. But he also said that the one who endures to the end will be saved. And that is the hope and the promise that we find in Christ. Crucifixions, men tied together and marched to their deaths, shot in the head, others buried alive, according to one Iraqi minister. My name is Ban Noshaba. I was born in 1980. I'm married with two children. My husband worked as a taxi driver and we lived an average life. Then on November 1, 2013, my whole life changed. At 4 o'clock, I heard the doorbell and opened it. It was my husband's friends telling me that he was kidnapped. They said that on one of the by streets, ISIS took my husband out of the driver's seat of his taxi and put him in the back seat with guns pointed at him. The kidnappers called me two days later and told me they wanted $50,000 as ransom. They threatened me, saying, you either bring the money or you and your daughter come in so we can rape you. They gave us 42 hours to get the money or they would find us no matter where we hid. I met many people because of the difficulty they were tempted to give up. But what the Lord has allowed them to do is to persevere one more day, even one more hour in the midst of their pain. One day, I couldn't bear it anymore. I cut my wrist hoping to die. I couldn't watch my children suffer anymore. I couldn't go on not having money to at least pay rent. I woke up in the hospital. My landlord took me there. It's impossible for them to persevere in this way on their own. They have to go to the Lord daily, and the Lord allows them to stand in this way. I didn't want to go to church, but my landlord insisted that I come. And there, I felt the touch of Jesus. I was in church, and the pastor said, raise your hands, the Lord is near, so raise your hands. I did, and I felt a touch on my hand. I talked to him and asked him to keep me strong and faithful. I told God, you are my love, my father, and my husband. You know, I think really the only, the only power uh, that we have to persevere uh, comes from Christ, and it's not something that we can do on our own. So if he calls us to persevere, then I know that it's worth it now. But he also says that we don't have to be ready ourselves because he'll make us ready when the times come. These people persevered in their faith all the way to the point of death. They never wavered, and the Bible says that the world was not worthy of them. Each of us is challenged to finish as they finished, to get rid of every weight and the sin that clings so closely to us, and to run with endurance the race set out for us, with our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith.